I'm just going to quickly show you how I would use the fill tool in ArtRage 5 because it's a lot smarter than the fill tool in ArtRage Lite. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot more settings here. You don't need to worry about those for now. This is what I would be using in Lite. Now, slow motion lets you watch the progress of the fill until you can find out where it's leaking out. The higher you set it, the slower it will go. And if you want it to stop, you just press escape. So what I could do is I could just keep using slow motion, see where all the gaps are, and then fill them in by hand. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to increase gap tolerance. Gap tolerance means that it will not pass through any gap that is smaller than the size you have set there. So that is currently 26 pixels. I'm working on a quite a small canvas size, so 26 pixels is quite a big gap here. Uh, as you can see, it can't pass through the narrow hair strands and it also does not pass out into the face or the background. But we still have a problem. Uh, you can probably see it quite clearly. It's this really horrible, ugly, white pixel border effect. Uh, this is a problem in every single digital art program, except for MS Paint, and there is a reason for that. MS Paint is just pixels, blocky single pixels. So you can see the horrible jagged edges as you draw. Uh, other art programs, like real art programs, <laughs> more advanced art programs do something called anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing is how these lines are made nice and smooth, and it does it by adding lots of little semi-transparent pixels along the edges there. So this little fringe is why, is why your lines look much smoother. Now this plays absolute havoc with the fill tool, unfortunately. It does this because the fill tool works by flooding one colour until it meets a different colour and then it stops. So if you have very solid pixels like that on the right, it can fill every single one of them and then stops because it knows what it's doing, but it's really ugly. Whereas on the left here, where you have the anti-aliasing, it's got all these transparent pixels. What does it do? It doesn't know, so it doesn't fill them properly. To get around this, you need to tell the fill tool where to stop filling so it doesn't have to figure it out for itself. And you do this by switching to the border tab. So I'm using a black and white line art, which means my border is going to be pure black, which is very easy. If I'm using a slightly different range of colors, it can get a little complicated sometimes. So I have my nice pure black and white lines here. Uh, so my border is black. I'll just stick that gap tolerance back up and I will fill. Uh, as you can see, there are absolutely no horrible lines. It is completely smooth and completely solid. So in ArtRage 5, I can ignore the gaps, I can find the gaps, and I can fill right up to a border without leaving any nasty white edges. And that means that I can use this for a stencil really easily and it's much smoother and faster to make. I can also just convert this into a stencil immediately without having to export it and import it. So it's much easier to just make a stencil, add it, start messing around, adding colour.